is Dr. Christy Ennis. Standing all day can be just as bad as sitting all day for our bodies. You can get aches and pains in the legs, the hips, the back, the feet, and actually even all the way up to the head. And if I don't do the exercises that I'm going to show you because I stand a lot all day and show my body a little bit of TLC, it gets cranky. And so does my brain. You can just ask my family that. <laughs> so we've got five exercises today. The first exercise is the first one I do every day. And I even do this sometimes before getting out of bed. It's also the only one that you'll need any equipment for. I'm going to show you both with the Derma Edge and with the tennis ball. I like the Derma Edge better for this one because it actually just gets in there a little bit deeper and you can feel what you're doing. So it is working through the bottom of that foot. So if you're using the Derma Edge, which I will link for you, you're going to just scrape the bottom of that foot and you'll feel it might be a little crunchy bumpy. You can add a little bit of toe movement in there too. This is great though, because the soles of our feet are going to be on the ground clearly all day long. And if the base of our support isn't doing well, that's when things start to translate all the way up. So if you don't have a derma edge or if you want to do this at work too, and you don't want to sit and you just want to stand, you can certainly grab a tennis ball. But you want to go nice and slow and controlled and you do get a little bit more pressure standing versus sitting. So I like this before the workday starts and then if you get a break during the day, which hopefully you do, it's great to do as you do a break and you're just doing it until it goes, oh yeah, that feels a little bit better. This next one is actually the one that I do the most frequently during the day because it's going to stretch out our backs and we're going to get a little bit of a rock going in those feet to use the muscle pump. So if you get any swelling or you just feel stagnant, it really helps with that. So you need a wall or a counter. I happen to have a lovely metal railing, so I'm going to use that. Coming over here, I'm going to grab onto it. Again, if you're using the wall, just hands on the wall. I'm going to back my body away. Ah, until I feel a stretch actually even through my arms. So from here, I'm going to take and I'm going to lift those toes up and you'll feel a stretch doing that. And then I'm going to come up and come right up onto my toes. So I'm pushing back. I'm lifting my toes coming up and then coming right up onto those heels. So you want to shoot for about 10 of these and that's going to be the case for all the rest of the exercises. And you want to do them as frequently as you can during the day. If it's too much to get to the wall, you can still get some nice benefit by even just going up and down on the toes. This next one focuses in on the hip and the spine. So we are literally doing hip circles or hula hoop or whatever you want to say, right? It's all in the hips. I've said that before for sure, but this one just feels again, yummy. So of course you want to make sure you go in one direction and then you want to go in the other direction. And what I like to do with this one too is see where do I feel like, oh yeah, like, oh, that feels good. I want to dig in there a little bit. So I'll kind of do a little shift around with that. So it's basically a pause in any of those positions that feel like they might just need a little bit of extra attention. So again, around 10 or so for each of these. This one focuses in on the hip as well because our hips need a lot of attention when we are standing. So if you want to hold on to something for balance, you can. You're going to take one leg though and you're just going to let it go. This is for you to let it just let it all hang out. So we're working through the front and the back of the hip. And then you're actually going to make sure that you go, well, my hip's got a mind of its own. You're going to make sure that you actually go side to side as well so that we're really getting all motions of that hip. Our last exercise is going to activate those hamstrings a little bit, get a little more flexibility in through the front of the hip. So you're going to kick your own butt. <laughs> there you go. Literally, that is what you're doing though. You're bringing those heels right up. You can make it a little bigger as you go. So it's like we're doing aerobics a little bit here too, right? So now we're getting more hip motion into it. And same idea though, about 10 or so, and even every hour if you can.